Hey everybody, Donnie coming at you. Uh, hopefully you can hear me well. There may be a little bit of traffic uh, noise on the road here. I am standing in the living room or soon to be, hopefully soon to be living room of our new house that I am building currently. And uh, man, it's been a minute. Missed you guys, miss sharing updates and sharing what's going on. It's been a rough couple years, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but we're in good shape and things are, are going well and we're happy about that. So I wanted to make a video, uh, an update video, just to share what's going on, what's happening and uh, what I plan on doing with this channel. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys stick around and uh, share the channel so we can uh, grow it and maybe you guys will enjoy some of the stuff that I'm gonna be doing here, here uh, in the future. So yes, um, new house. Whew. I have been working on um, a new house that I've been building for my wife and I now for a few months. And um, up until this point, I've had my buddy Phil help with the ridge and a few other things, but it's mainly been me um, building this thing stick by stick, piece by piece. I've gone through a lot of nails, <laughs> um, gone through some heat exhaustion, uh, several, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's been crazy. I'm, I may show you guys in a little bit, um, or I may pop it up here now just to let you see. In the middle of building this thing, or in the, in the beginning of when I started building this house, I had someone come out and help me with the uh, foundation just because they were so inexpensive and I really didn't want to try and pour, you know, 40 yards of concrete myself. And had someone come out so as soon as that was poured, I immediately got to work and started building on this thing and laying it out and framing it out and stuff like that. And it's here in South Mississippi at that particular moment, it's still warm and humid out as it always is, but we were seeing 110 degree days and I, I had some heat exhaustion issues and I got really, I mean, it was, it was horrible. So I decided to take a, a few days off from building the house uh, and rest. Obviously I had no choice. When I came back and decided to build um, this 10 by 12 little shed because I knew that I needed somewhere to be able to just kind of relax and get out of the heat. And, um, you know, being able to just hop in a car or something that just didn't make sense. So I built this little 10 by 12 and um, it was very inexpensive to build at the time. I think it was around 800 bucks. I already had a window unit from my previous shop, threw it in there, got a little uh, air, a little refrigerator that you guys can see here, made sure this thing was stocked with plenty of water. Um, I had bought boxes of electrolytes that I could mix with the water, um, plenty of Powerade type things and stuff like that, just to make sure uh, that I didn't push myself to the limit. So now I come outside, I work for a little while, go inside and I don't keep it freezing cold or anything in here. I think I keep it at 73 degrees or so, which does sound kind of cold, but I keep it there and it's on an automatic cycling thing. So I come in, I sit down and chill out for about 10, 15 minutes, go back out and work for another couple hours. And it has helped tremendous, tremendously um, with the way that I feel. So Back over to the house. The house itself is uh, around 1,700 square feet under under roof, about 1,150 square feet uh, heated and cooled area. It's a very simple place, uh, a nice size craft room for my wife, um, a decent, you know, it's just my wife and I. And, um, you know, it, it's, we have our nephew come over who stays sometimes with us and uh, he's with us most of the time during the day, so it's plenty enough room for him to, to run around. Got a big old yard, got a few acres here. Um, a master bedroom behind me with a master bath that's pretty generous, and uh, a guest bathroom with a laundry room in it, and a galley-type kitchen. And I'm gonna make more videos showing you guys, uh, not a step-by-step, -step, but just kind of the process of what I've gone through so far to build the place. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm just rambling on here. I'm just kind of excited to get back in front of the camera and share with all you guys and gals um, what I'm doing and what's going on. Today, I'm actually to the point that I'm working on the porch. 
Um, but I'm gonna make another video that's basically gonna kind of show more pictures and slides. I have some videos and stuff, and it's just gonna kind of take you to the point that I'm at now. The purpose of today's video, like I said, was just to kind of update you guys, fill you in on what was going on or what's been happening. Um, lots of things have been happening. I'm finally to a point where I can walk around um, pretty good with my leg. I got a lot of movement. If you guys knew about my surgeries and stuff that I had from a fall a few years ago, I've tried a few businesses uh, since I kind of shut down the podcast for a little while. And real quick, if you don't know, um, I host uh, or hosted, it's still my podcast, but I hosted the Greenwood Worker podcast. Um, and at 100 episodes, changed the name to The Maker Minded to kind of open it up to a bigger community and uh, did about 20 more episodes after that. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description where you folks can go check out the podcast if you're interested in hearing about makers and builders and just awesome people from all around the community. Um, not saying it won't come back. I just got a few other irons in the fire that I need to get going. Um, and I, when I left the podcast, I went and decided I was going to be a hotshot truck driver. I have my CDL, but I decided to get a dually truck and a 40-foot trailer and um, kind of had some people telling me that I could kind of make some, some numbers that I was super excited about. So I went out on the road for a little bit, and it uh, turns out that, yeah, those, those numbers just weren't there. And uh, so we lost a little bit of money, which was another hit to us. Um, but I came home and I pers uh, pursued something that I'd always wanted to pursue, and that was becoming a home inspector. And actually, when I had my previous job um, working on airport runways, I was studying to become a home inspector. And uh, hopefully that wind's not bothering the, the audio too much. It feels good, but hopefully it's not bothering you guys too much. Um, but I decided to go back. I went ahead and took all the tests and got licensed to become a home inspector in the state of Mississippi. And um, it's been going okay. It's been slow start. I've had some really super busy weeks and then I've had some weeks where it's not been so busy. Um, and that's kind of been good with building the house. I try and do the inspections in the morning and then work on the house the rest of the day. So uh, I'm just continuously pursuing that and hoping that it'll grow. So if you're moving to the Mississippi Gulf Coast area, any of the counties are a little bit north, I'll put a link for that below too for Carter Home Inspections. Give me a holler and I'll be happy to check you guys out. Um, right now I'm studying to become a licensed residential builder in the state of Mississippi. And the reason that I'm doing that is because in the state here, you have to be a licensed residential builder to be able to inspect brand new homes. Um, so I can only do occupied or previously occupied homes. I can't do brand new construction. Well, oh, excuse me. Um, so I'm working on that. I'm gonna be taking a couple of tests soon. Next week is the first part of, of the test. And I'm pretty excited to get that stuff out of the way and become a uh, licensed residential builder and a licensed residential home inspector, which I already am here in the state and um, uh, state of Mississippi. So who knows what else that'll open up. But in the meantime, that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm really working hard to make it uh, successful. It's a little tough. We're, um, once again, I'm working on this house. We're trying to build, pay for the house as we build it. And uh, you know how that goes. You need to have money coming in to sustain so you don't take and, and lose any money that you have that you have towards the house. And it's a, it's a battle back and forth right now uh, to maintain that level. So I just, my main focus at this point is to get this house watertight and closed in, and then we can kind of, uh, you know, rest a little bit easier. But make sure you're on the lookout uh, in the near future for uh, episode one of, of building this house. It's gonna kind of be a, uh, once again, I'm sorry, I'm just rambling on. I'm just happy to, happy to chat with you folks. The video, the first video on the house is gonna more than likely, um, it's definitely gonna just be a, let me catch you up to where I'm at at this point. And then we can talk more about some of the stuff we're doing um, as I build the house and as things progress. So just wanted to make sure 
uh, that you guys understand that. And uh, hopefully you share it with some people. Hopefully I can uh, help somebody influence you. Maybe I'll explain about being your own contractor and things like that. And because you can save yourself a ton of money. Um, even if you have not a lot of building knowledge, as long as you surround yourself with people that do have that knowledge, you could, you could save yourself a ton of money. But we'll talk more about that later. I just wanted to hop on here and say hello. <laughs> and uh, welcome back to the channel. I'll leave all the links in the description um, for the places for Carter Home Inspections and uh, whatever it else is that I was telling you guys about. I hope you've been well and I can't wait to share more with you. And uh, until the next time, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.